Yo, what is up, everybody? Hope everyone's doing well. Kicking ass, taking names, and obtaining. We're here with uh, Murders uh, Karlov Manor Limited. Oh, what do I keep calling it? Carvlo? Carlo? Carlos? I keep calling it Carvlo. Carvlo? Am I? No, I've been calling it Carvlo. I've uh, been calling it Carvlo. Oh. It is Mrs. Downtain here with Mr. Uptain. <laughs> uh,. Yeah, we're what are you we're gonna do the the premiere one, right? Or you want I think that's the best. Oh, you know there. what? For the for your intro, I should be like, why go up when you could go down? <laughs> 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 Who doesn't like going down? That's true. That's good. Um I like that <laughs> one. That's good. <laughs> uh so yeah, we'll do one of these drafts. Uh if you're trying to learn about this set, well, you've come to the wrong place because we haven't seen nothing. Oh, we didn't even go over the arc. Why don't we look at the archetypes really quick? No, that would be cheating. Okay, real quick. Blue white detectives. Get on your opponent's case. Nice. With a fast mid range strategy. Blue black. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're. <laughs> Passing the whole thing. Oh my god. Okay. Leverage detective. Uh, typical bonuses to overwhelm your opponent's defenses and sacrifice clues to refill your hand in the late game. Blue, uh, blue black clues control. Use defensive spells to extend the game and generate clues. Then turn the excess mana into a card advantage that will bury your opponent in a mountain of value. Uh, red black suspect aggro suspected creatures have menace and can't block okay keep attacking with your suspect uh suspicious creek uh characters and your opponents will be helpless to stop them okay red green big disguise spend the early game uh, accelerating your mana and setting up a face down board state then Beat down your opponent's side of the board by flipping over your haymakers after haymaker. That sounds cool. What's uh, a haymaker? Haymaker is like your big boy. You're like six drop, seven drop, eight drop. Those are your haymakers. You know, like oh. in boxing, like your haymaker is like your big punch, you know? Obviously, I didn't know that. Okay. Well, I'm letting the people know. And you. You're a people. Um... Green, white, people. yeah, the people. This is going out. To the people. People. Uh, green, white, go wild, disguise, go wide, disguise. Go wide. Uh, flood the battlefield with face down creatures and cure impressive rewards whenever they're tamed, uh, uh, turned face up. All right, you read the next couple. I'm spraying some of that enemy spray in my mouth. Did you do the pint size to disguise? No, not yet. Okay, pint size disguise. Face down creatures bolster your strategy, which rewards the rewards playing creatures with two or less power, less boosting them to become more impressive attackers. Okay. Art attack sacrifice blue red. Generate and sacrifice blue clues strategically to gain a massive card advantage over your opponent. Then chip away of at their defenses by attacking with evasive thopters that bring them bring death. From above. I'm reading off a small screen and I'm not wearing my glasses. Okay. You want me to read it? Uh, sure. I can I can just read it. All right. Three last three. You got it. Um, black green grave bi bri grave break. This seems like this is something you'll like. Use the collect evidence mechanic and raise the dead to support a long game strategy that gives you extra value whenever a creature card leaves your graveyard. Interesting. Red, white, battalion. This classic Ravnica... Ravikin strategy adds extra punch to aggressive red and white creatures by providing them a bonus whenever you attack with three or more of them. Blue, green. Collect evidence, rapidly fill up your graveyard and collect evidence to power up your spells while amassing permanents that reward you each time you do so. So guess what we're doing? We bought a collector's booster box <laughs> of Ravnica Remastered and we're going to open them. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. We'll make a video. Um We're gonna get number maybe... one birds of paradise for sure. Yeah, I have a feeling. Mm -mm. She's got a feeling. 
Yeah, it's a 50-50. Either we do or we don't, you know? 50-50. One thing I would say about... It was like a 199, but it was like a 0.00199. Yeah. One thing that I noticed, like, if you read this, like, it's like, fill up your hand, go late game, you know, bear your car, your opponent in card advantage. Uh, um, like, a lot of these just seem like, you know, uh, gain a massive card advantage, uh, gain, you know, get advantages you know get rewards for playing big stuff you know it's like i that makes it sound like a slower format but maybe if the if they're the fastest decks like red black or a red green or like you know or green white or aggro enough that those decks might have issues but that's something you know I guess we'll see. But really, we're not going to know all like any of the cards when we draft. So we're just going to jump in and like if we find a really 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 good card, we're just going to hope that color is open or you know, draft around it and see what happens. Well, I've got a pretty good card evaluation too, so I'm not too yeah. worried about it. Yeah. We do have good card evaluation. I'm just worried that we're not going to have enough time to read all the cards, you know. So. Yeah. That's the biggest issue, but whatever, who cares? We're having we should fun. stay on color. We should stay on color. What's that? Uh, blue black. Whenever this guy attacks, exile target card from a graveyard, then investigate. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, you may have this guy become a copy of a creature card exiled with it until end of turn. So he's the blue black feature guy. Yeah. Three mana. Untap another target permanent you control. So like, accelerate. Collect evidence three to collect evidence three exile cards from. Uh, with total mana value 3 or greater, tap target creature, okay. Uh, 2 mana, enters the battlefield, mill 3, sacrifice it, return all land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. That seems like it could be insane. I like that. 5 mana, 4, 5, enters the battlefield, or his turn face up, target creature blocks this turn if able. That could be very good. Uh, Enchanted Creature becomes a 1-1 Death Toucher. And... I think we should just stay with the common, or uncommons and rare in this, unless... Okay, what do you want to take? We have five seconds. Oh, what, or whatever you want. You want. Uh, I kind of like the blue-black guy. I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say. All right, destroy a target creature. Murder. That's great. Uh, yeah, that's a break good... up. Look at this card. Look how many fucking words. Look at the top six cards for library. You may reveal a card from among them. If that card has made a value two or less, you put it on the battlefield. It gains haste. If you don't, put it in your hand. Put the rest at the bottom. Okay. Uh, deals twice X damage to target creature. If excess damage is dealt this way, investigate. Okay. That's good. Uh, green, black. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may collect evidence four. Whenever you collect evidence, investigate. So... You exile things from your graveyard, and then you make clues. Okay. Evidence 6, thing becomes a 4-1. Uh, if evidence was collected, it becomes a 1-1. One, one. Okay. Uh, Jesus Christ. I think maybe just murder. We're not really having okay. a lot of cards to... When this turns very put, X-1-1 one, one counter is uh, distributed to your guys. That seems good. I don't know. There's Next a... thing we should just read over these cards. Let's just take the removal. Yeah. Okay, when this guy is turned face up until end of turn, whenever creature you control deals damage to a player, investigate. That's good. That's actually very good. Uh, it's turned faced up. Yeah, but it's only it's only the turn it gets faced up, I guess. Okay. Five mana, three, three. Enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice an artifact or creature when you do exile target creature and opponent controls. That's very good, too. Okay, let's take that. You like that above just straight up murder? Yeah. Okay. So this is like a sacrifice thing. This might be red black, but I don't know. It's clearly a very good card, regardless. I feel like it's good anyways. Blah! Look at this goat. Blah! Dude, I love this guy. Oh, you can suspect suspect gives a creature menace and can't block. Okay. Okay, that's a different, you know, a mechanic. We're gonna have to get, you know, get used to this mechanic. Uh... Let's see. Cards in our colors, first of all. Counter target spell, unless they pay two. Suspect up to one target creature. Uh, okay. The team has menace and can't block. This, cre uh, this spell costs you less if a creature card was put into your graveyard from anywhere. This turn return two guys from your graveyard to your hand. I like that. This spell can't be countered. Oh, this is just good removal. Target creature gets minus it's X, minus spell. X. 
Yeah, that's seems... let's just have lots of removal and good cards. All right, let's see this guy disguise. When this guy's turn face up, look at the top two cards of your library. Put one in your hand and the other in your graveyard. This also is a good value, but I think removal is good. Yeah. If it was it's... if it was bigger than a one four, I'd like it. Like if it was a three three or something flyer, it'd obviously be insane. Okay, three mana enters the battlefield. Suspect. Up to one other target creature you control. Whenever one or more suspected creatures you control attacks, investigate. Okay. Target creature attacks or blocks this turn if able. The draw card, investigate. Six man enters the battlefield, return up to one other target creature to its owner's hand. That could be good. Six man is a lot, though. Target opponent discards two, target opponent reveals their hand. Do you ever. You either get to take two cards of their choice or one of yours. That's kind of cool. Uh, maybe the creature. Oh, the guy. Yeah, this guy? Yeah. Deals two damage. When this guy dies, he deals two damage to any target. That could be good, too. Uh, okay. Black cards. And just about to... Okay, your opponent exiles a card from their hand, so it's like the rat from that other set. Uh, five mana, sacrifice another creature, draw a card. If the sacrifice creature was uh, suspected, draw two cards instead. Two that's mana good. disguise is turned face up. Put four one one counters on it. Wow, that's kind of cool. Uh, okay, kind of like that. I also like the guy discarding the thing. But here's the green one. Turn up to one target artifact card for uh, b b b becomes a five five. It's a lot of mana, but it comes in the card you're gonna most likely take. Yeah, I think a good creature in our color seems good. He's a two mana creature, or he's like you okay, know you put face okay, down. Okay, let's just look at the other cards really quick. All right. Uh, I like that black card. You like this card? All right. Yeah. Let's read more cards while we have time. On the job, creatures you control get plus two plus one until in turn. Investigate. A killer among us. Jesus Christ! Look at all those words. Six minute trample, basic land cycling. That's pretty good. That's oh, good. Just oh, an angry man. Hey, look! It's our boy. Uh, what's this? Is that? Oh, yeah. It's like fixing. What's thinking, Kat? Yeah, let's, get the, let's just get the fixing. I don't know what detectives are. Is detective a creature type? Probably. You guys get off me. One mana, get off me. and then plus one more to plus one, plus two. I mean, you guys uh... want a bone? Do you want a bone? Oh, don't. Oh, you jumped on the tip. It's interesting. Like, it's about to feel... I actually thought this guy was really good in the very first pack, and he completely wheeled. Maybe I'm misevaluating, but it also seems like green might be open. Because when there's the battlefield, you force a creature to block, or you're like, I turn my guy face up and force you to block. But, like, there was a reasonable card in our colors, so I guess we'll take that. But I don't know. Deals combat damage to a player, investigate. Uh... We'll take this thing because it's like our color. Well, it's better to strip to one target artifact. I don't know. It's like a. We just, hmm? we just took fixing too. True. We should I refer basically and put that in the battlefield tap, then investigate? I mean, this could help us. Yeah. Uh, I like. Create a thing. Uh, put X1 counters where X is. Uh, two plus the total number. Oh, we didn't even get it. Whatever. What do we get? Just some random red orangutan. Cool. They didn't click on it. And whatever. It was a color we weren't at the moment. So. Uh, and this is about to draw the cards. You have no maximum hand size at the beginning of combat on your turn. If you've drawn more cards than one this turn, put X11 one, one counters on target reach. X is the number of cards you've drawn minus one. Interesting. Uh, Avison or whatever her name is. I think if we're doing that, yeah, it would be kind of hard. Wait, let go. Come here, Wanda. Come on, Wanda. You were a jerk. <laughs> she stole the boom. I know. That's what he does. This card doesn't seem too bad if. You you can draw extra cards and then you can put counters onto creatures. And if you draw more cards, like doesn't seem bad. Like it, just for two mana, you're drawing a card and 
getting to put a 1-1 counter on something. That seems good. Okay, 5 yeah. mana, 2, 5, Hexproof. If you would draw a card while your library has no cards in it, skip that draw instead. As long as there are no cards in your graveyard, this guy's a 10-10. It's funny. In, in your library? Yeah. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, this guy gains uh, Defender... Or loses Defender and gains Vigilance. Uh, 4 mana, whenever one more creature cards leave your graveyard, this guy gets bigger. I don't know how cards are leaving our... Huh? Oh, we can take the land. Okay. Is this another one of them? Yeah, sure. And then we can, you know, see if it was the best card. Oh. Blue red land. One of the. I like that. Huh? That. Well, not the. Wait, 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 wait. We need to get cards where we're drawing more cards. Okay. Oh, we don't have. Any... Oh, sacrificing is like sacrificing clues. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sacrificing artifacts. Those are clues. Yeah. What's that green, green black card? Uh, Creature tokens you control have addicts. You know, whenever one or more creature cards leave your battle graveyard, you get a 1-1. One, one. Seven, six. Oh, okay. Let's take the... I think this guy might be splashable. Because if we sacrifice... If we're getting clues, he can do stuff. Uh, oh, look. Another one of our rare... Okay. Let's see what else is in this pack. Six mana, four, three. Oh, Detective is a creature type. Enters the battlefield, you may search your graveyard, hand, and or library for a card named Magnifying Glass or a card named Thinking Cap. Put it onto the battlefield. That's funny. Uh, four mana, four, two flyer. When it enters the battlefield, you lose three. Oh, but you can put it face down and turn it face up so you don't lose the life. Uh, I don't know. The rare seems good. But this guy also seems good. I don't know. We're not using really any of the... Uh... Suspect, it seems like it's good. Yeah, you want to do this? No, I'm just saying. You want to take this 2-5 if we have no cards in our library? It's a 10-10. <laughs> yeah. Seems pretty funny. You know, so if it's the last card? Uh... Yeah, if it's the very last... Well, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. I don't know. This deck doesn't look like it might not really be doing that, but I don't know. Okay, here's a card. As an additional cost to cast this spell, collect Evidence X, where X is the total mana value of the permanent this spell targets. Destroy up to one target artifact, up to one target creature, up to one target enchantment, and one planeswalker. It's not really going to happen. Two mana, two one. If this guy is suspected, put a... Uh, put a 1-1 one, one counter or other one, otherwise suspect it. That seems fine, because you suspect it, and then you can start paying 3 mana to put counters on it. I don't know. 3 mana, uh, whenever it or another defective enters the battlefield under control, and whenever a detective you control is turned face up, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. Okay. Yeah. Enter the battlefield, draw a card, lose a life. Sacrifice it, draw a card, lose a life. Remember that card. That's good. Our card draw thing. Three mana, two, two flyer. As an additional cost to cast a spell, you may collect evidence six. And here's the battlefield tap. Target what is creature. evidence? Yeah, that looks good, right? What is evidence six? Evidence six means you exile cards from your graveyard that have total mana value six or more. Oh. Whenever one or more creature leave your grave, like see, like this guy would, you exile guys from your graveyard, and then he uh, gets bigger. Yeah, so you okay. like, so there's cards that care about cards going to the graveyard, and then just, or you know, there's cards that take cards from the graveyard, and cards that care about getting cards out of the graveyard. So nice. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's a good card worth owning. This card will see sideboard play probably. All right, another one of these suspect guys. I think they're pretty good. Uh, that counter spell wield. All right, here's what's what? this? Okay, a mythic rare in our color. Five mana reveal the top five cards of your library and separate them in two piles. An opponent chooses one of those piles, put that pile into your hand, and the other into your graveyard. Create a thopter. 
with flying, then put a 1-1 one, one counter for each card put into your graveyard this way. This card's insane. This is a factor fiction that makes you a creature. That's outrageous. Yeah. I don't know what this card does. Let's read it, but we're taking the other thing. When it is the battlefield, destroy up to one target creature that was dealt damage to this. To solve, three or more creature cards were put into the graveyard from anywhere this turn. Solved. Uh, this case is solved, and you get a 4-4, four, four, it sound, seems like. Couldn't even read the whole thing. These cards have so many words. Removal. Thinking cap. We picked up that other guy. The thinking cap is good. Uh... Guess plus one for each force you control. That's not going to be necessary for us. Knife. As long as it's your turn, your quick future gets plus one, plus zero, and has first strike. I'm okay with that. Do you like that more than removal? We can take the removal. I was just saying I like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like that, too. I also like that there's a card named Knife. You know, like, it only took them a million years to make a card named Knife. Uh, Here's a land. What's this land do? Let's turn face up, add two mana of any one color. It doesn't... All right, you don't lose it this turn. Okay. Uh, and it's about We're it. drawing cards, too, so maybe the draw card... This guy? We got a lot of... We, know we got a lot of things to draw. Yeah, it was like... This guy can draw your card when he uh, deals damage. Or you investigate, which gives you a clue, and then you can... I think we might be a little... Oh, we actually have an okay number of creatures. I don't know. This Oh, so you did. Yeah, he can draw his cards. Judith. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery, choose one. That creature or that spell gains death touch and lifelink. Create a two two uh token that when it dies deals two to each opponent. That seems amazing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That seems very good. That's splashable. Yeah, definitely. Uh especially because we got two of these. There's another one of these things that's good. Let's read this guy. And it's about oh, yeah, the target creature gets minus four, minus four until in a turn, whenever one more Creature cards leaves your graveyard. Each opponent loses one you gave one. That could be good, but I think this card's definitely worth splashing. See what this red blue card is. Enters the battlefield, or is turned face up. Create a one-one flying fopter. That seems good. You can also put it face down for colorless and turn it, flip it face up for just blue. So it's not even like this is honestly a blue card or a red card, but can be a blue red card like that seems really good okay. oh here's a blue red mythic or whatever five mana menace ward two haste when it attacks sacrifice any number of other creatures then exile top x cards from the library no, no, no. where x is the total power uh, we're taking that card yeah i think it's great even if it's just a five, seven mana oh, four four menace ball. ward two haste it's good yeah it's good Good boy. You don't take her bone. You be a good boy. All right. What's that equipment? The equipment is the uh, detective thing. Oh, there's another equipment. Yeah. Is there not? Uh, No, it's an artifact. It searches for an equipment or something. Let's try this case thing because it's an uncommon. We get to read it. It has so many words. We don't even have time to fucking read it. But we're going to have enough playables. We're going to have a good deck, you know? We'll be able to figure out what we want to play. Another card that wants to remove cards from our graveyard. I think that's good. And it's a battlefield suspect of one target. Sacrifice suspect creature. Target creature just minus five. Minus I like five. that. This seems amazing. Maybe we're taking too much uh, red. I don't know, but... No, we're not. When this guy dies, investigate. Four mana, three, three flyer that dies and gives you a clue. Doesn't seem bad. I like it. There's another one of these clue things. I don't know. No. I like that. The flyer. Blue card. Yeah. Because we'll definitely play that in our, you know. In our deck. Yeah. Oh, what's this thing do real quick? When it is attacks, if it's not so expected. No, that's fine. We'll take the cap. This card's pretty good. It's like that rat. 1-1 one, one for 2. Your opponent discards the card. I like this deck. Yeah. I think this deck could be really good. I wish we would have picked up one more of the escape tunnels, but... Escape tunnel? What's that do? I don't even remember. The Evolving Wilds. Oh, 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 oh. I think we should... Oh, I think the... 
I think the mana base is good. Eight islands, eight swamps, five mountains. Yeah, that seems good. All right, let's cut like that. I want to read this card. When it's in the battlefield, destroy up to one target creature that was dealt damage this turn. To solve, so to get it, flip it over, three or more creature cards need to be put into graveyards from anywhere. Um, if unsolved, solve at the beginning of your next, at your end step, okay? The case is a, it becomes a 4-4 four, four creature with death touch and lifelink. Okay. I don't get it. So, when it comes into play, it instantly does the top thing. All right? Okay. And then if at any point it appears, three or more creatures die in one turn, at the beginning of your next end step, you get a 4-4 four, four Death Touch lifelink. Oh, okay. I think that... Get away from her bone. Because the one mana, one one flyer, if you put it, turn it face down and then flip it up, um, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, investigate. You are sneaky. But it's only literally the turn it gets flipped up, so I don't know if that's good. Behind the mask, as an additional cost to cast this spell, you may collect six evidence. Until end of turn, target artifact or creature becomes an artifact creature with base power. What does evidence six mean? Uh, to collect evidence six, exile cards with total mana value six or greater from your graveyard. Well, what are we collecting? Six, six clues? No. Uh, collecting is like Let's say we cast this guy, right? And we have this guy in the graveyard. We exile him. That would pay for seven, you know? Because he's a seven drop. What are we paying for? The evidence. But what's the evidence for? The evidence... If you don't pay the evidence, it's a four... You tur or you make a creature a four three. If you do pay for the evidence, it becomes a one one. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Yeah. I see. I see it now. So for offensively, you don't need to do the evidence, but for defensively, oh, yeah, I, see yeah. It. I see it. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Uh, so this guy's a three mana two two face down. And then you could turn it face up and make it a six five. Can you do that at any time? At any time. Okay. So this is just unmorphing. The better. I was just going to say that. Because they have Ward 2, apparently. So that's good. I mean, that's really good. Uh, Deduce. Two mana draw a card, investigate. Seems good. I think we should keep that. I think we should play this thing, too. It's like when you want to draw extra cards, and when you do, you get to put 1-1 one, one counters on stuff. A counter target spell, suspect up to one target creature. I don't know if we have a lot of suspect. We might want to. But we do have some no, good payoff. Can't... Yeah, suspect. You know what suspect is, right? Uh, it can't block and it gains menace. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure, but <laughs> I, I guessed. I do like this thing though. Enters the battlefield, suspect up to one target creature, and then pay five, sacrifice a suspected creature, and give something minus five, minus five. So you can just like suspect your absolute worst creature and then kill their best creature, basically. So that seems good. Uh, here's about to build collect evidence six. Um, and if you do tap something and put a stun counter, oh, you always tap something, but if you do the evidence, you put a stun counter on it. Okay, three mana, untap target, another target permit you control, collect evidence three, tap target creature you don't control. Okay, I don't know about that. I like the fact that it's acceleration. Because you can untap your lands. Um, but yeah, it could be pretty mid. Uh, enter the battlefield, suspect. I thought it was just creature. Uh, yeah, you're, for us. Like, yeah, untapping our creatures isn't as good, but 
Uh, when this inter- is from the most expensive down. Okay. I mean, we're halfway, but yeah, I feel you. Because we do won't want to play too much. This card I don't think is any good. If you know it's a two five mana two five hex proof, and if you have no cards in your deck, it's a ten ten. Like how many times is that gonna happen for us? Never. Fucking never. Okay, this we're card's playing that. Yeah, this card's obviously insane. This card's great. There's Battlefield sacrifice an artifact or creature and then destroy something. You can destroy a clue and then kill their best creature. That seems amazing. Uh, this Judith is insane. And how many instants and sorcerers do we have? We have eight, so that seems pretty good. Uh, four mana, three, three flyer when it dies, get a clue. Pretty good. Return two creatures from your graveyard for four, and if something was put into the graveyard, this turn only costs two. That's good. I think that's very good. This thing cares about, like, cards, le- creature cards leaving your graveyard. But I don't know if we. Yeah, but we since we have the uh, evidence. Yeah. But yeah, I see that. Maybe we like could... cut a couple of them. Maybe play one. I don't know. Yeah, that seems fine. So this guy, he's a three-two with the skies. Then you turn face up, and you make a one-one flyer. So I don't know. That's okay. That's pretty good, but it's not like. Whoa. So you play three and then to flip it, you play two? Yeah. Do you like that? Yeah, I do. I like this card. Okay. So I got to cut five more things. How many detectives do we have? Eight detectives. Okay, so this card seems great to go with our this thing. So uh, here's the battlefield. Suspect up to one target other creature. See, so we have... Some suspect cards. We have some like draw cards, matter cards. We can take the suspect cards out. I like the card drawing better. Do you like the card drawing better? Okay. Yeah. Okay, suspect. So that means we don't really want... Well, this guy might be powerful enough on his own. But maybe not. Wait, wait, yeah. I like that guy. Okay. It's removal on a creature. Yeah, okay. We'll remove some of the others. We'll remove all the other suspect cards. Uh, crap. It's not crap. Yeah, I'm not. It's not actually crap. I'm just saying we're gonna remove some of the other. Do not take her bone. I'm literally having to hold Cosmo away from the bone. He just, you know, can't let her have her bone. She, he just got to steal <laughs> it. Cosmo's a kleptomaniac, you guys. Is that people that just have to steal all the time? Yeah. And they can usually afford their shit, but they just want to steal it. Um, or they don't. I mean, th- yeah, some people that are kleptos that have are, that have money, it's just an impulsive yeah. adrenaline rush thing. Yeah, yeah. I think this guy's pretty mid. He's a detective and all, and like he can draw, give you a clue, but it's only a clue one time. Okay. Like, I just think that seems pretty low. Yeah, just like me dating you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Fifteen creatures, <laughs> six and one. We can take one of the creatures out. All right. Sorry, baby. That was very rude. I thought that was funny, though. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was funny too. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, yeah. I want that one guy, up, up, or that black guy. To be cut. Yeah. Okay. Uh. That cares about suspecting. Go down to that black guy. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want him? Get him out of here. Okay. It doesn't make sense. It's a suspected card. Yeah, it's like surveil. It's like whatever. I think this deck looks pretty good. I think this deck is good. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Where's the toxic deluges? (laughs) These? Yeah, they're kind of toxic delusions. Yeah, what? Uh, well, I thought it was creatures get minus X, minus X until end of turn. Yeah, target creature gets minus X, minus X. Well, I thought it was creatures. Oh, you thought it was everybody? <laughs> that's why, yeah, that's why I said toxic deluge. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah I it, can't read them, you know? Yeah, I don't we're know. going fast, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
All right, let's add the deck. Let's see. All right, we're in there. All right, I think this deck is good. We have pretty good removal. We got, you know, some strong cards. We got some good rares. I think this deck can do work. All right. We're on the play. We have a two drop. Make some discard. A four drop. You know, we'll keep. We'll try. I hope they mulligan. Damn. Because better when you're putting mulligans, obviously. Oh, we're drawing a red card. Hopefully we can... But this we is actually good. Creatures. Yeah, because like, this is like our worst creature, right? So if we can make it the suspect and then kill something with it, that'd be great. All right, we hit a land. All right. Oh, look, we can draw a card to investigate. Seems good. Good time to draw that. Play your land. Yeah, I'm gonna. Definitely. Okay, as an additional cost. Oh, so it's a... Whatever that card's. Tormund voice. Well, this card's got a lot of words. And it's a battlefield. Uh, and whenever you solve a case, look at the top six cards of the library and reveal an enchantment from among them. Put it in your hand. You may spend mana as though it was any mana of any color to cost to cast case spells. Cast case spells. Mouthful. No. I mm. would just Oh, we can't kill it. Yeah, we could crack our clue, or we can just play a guy that's, you know, acceleration. So I think it's that. Whatever you want. I think just playing our accelerator makes sense because if we crack a clue and don't hit a land, we're like, well, that felt really bad. So let's we'll play this. and I guess, no, yeah, the removal doesn't actually work. I was like, we can attack and then give it minus three, minus three. No, we can't. Okay, mountain, mountain, plains, plains. Okay, a, war a uh, face down dude. We have four mana right now. I think we just play our 3-3 three, three flyer, right? Okay. Nice. No, Cosmo, you don't have a bone. Where did she put her bone? I can't believe I'm on bone control with her. Yeah, I think right. she hit the bone. You think oh. she hid the bone from both of you? Oh, whoa. I was like, the bed's wet, but that's where she's like, come on, sweetheart. Dude, she doesn't have the brain capacity to hide the bone. Yes, yeah, she does. No that's an way. Good job. Yeah, it is an insult, and I mean it. Yeah, she is kind of on the dumb side. <laughs> Her brain is very little. <laughs> But they're also super smart because they grow, you know, it takes like our like baby babies to not be stupid until they're like a year and a half. You know, it takes them like a while to like be sentient. Yeah. And then like they're like pretty smart, like after like a month of being two months of being born. Yeah. Oh, now I got to give the dogs water. Uh, We can crack a clue so crack some clues i guess we could do that in a turn keep up our murder keep up our other removal spell that can't be countered wait a second i wonder so counter it unless it's paid for but this spell can't be countered so this gets around the that that's kind of cool all right we'll oh, you can just do that? we'll double block this guy and then if he flips it up whatever we'll murder it or we'll give it minus five, minus minus four, minus four. We'll see what he does. He makes this guy a four two. Four minus four. Huh? Oh, let's How just give, will we give? It? We could give it. We could untap one of our lands if we wanted to. But now, right now, we would kill both of our guys. I think we just give it minus two, minus two, and he'll. Yeah, you, like yeah. he'll like. And then he'll. Kill this guy, which is fine. 
because we can return it from that just gives this more ability to return it from the graveyard. We'll untap a land. We'll draw a card. See, yeah, and you didn't play anything else that turn. That was great for us. Okay. Good job. You're so smart. Thank You're you, the baby. smartest person I've ever been with. All right, let's pass this, return both of our creatures, play our land, untap our land, play that guy, get make him discard a card. Uh Seems yeah. Good. Yeah. Play our land, untap this land, cast this guy, you discard another card. You're very smart, baby. Thank you. We're getting some good value. The thing is we might hit a land here. Yeah, we did. But whatever. You know. He's just loaded up on... Alright, we take one. He's... Alright. Well, he played... He played his land, attacked, and did nothing. I think the other two cards in his hand are also land. Let's crack a clue. Because if we find a red source, we might play out our guy. Yeah, because we might want to keep them... Oh, wait, he has uh, word four, right? Yeah. Well, we can play this guy, too. So okay. Let's, let's do that. And then attack for one. Yeah, I think two cards in his hand are land, so. And our hand is uh, loaded with spells. It doesn't look like it. He's looking at his cards. It is about the exile target creature. All right, he gains two. All right. Okay, that shit does stuff. Stuff and things. Maybe Wait, do what? Player flyer? Yeah, attack for two. Seems fine. Wait, 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 wait. what's that card behind the mark? Behind the what? The first card we have. Oh, it's uh, behind the mask. Uh, it's like we can make a creature a 1-1 one, one, or we can make a creature a 4-3. Currently. Oh, so we should do that to our creature, like, attack? To uh, kill one of his wars. Yeah. He keeps whiffing on this spell, which is funny. Okay, this thing, when it attacks, exile a card from a graveyard, then investigate. Yeah, this seems so good. And we get to keep up our murder because of this guy, which is amazing. What's our murder? Murder. Oh. Okay. Yep. I think he just drew a million land, and that's fine by me. We won our first game uh, of the set. Yeah, what? Yeah, murder. Uh, murder. Murders. All right, let's do it. This set seems fun so far. I mean, I don't know. It's fucking we've got one game under our belt, but. I like how Sam has a pan. Sordo has a fro. <laughs> yeah. I was just looking at his frying pan. <laughs> I was just thinking that too. I think we should just keep this or no? Yeah, yeah I think I think so. We're on the draw, you know. Whatever. Maybe it's not good, actually. I don't know. I don't know. Mulligan. Mulligan, okay. I just sand looks better. Slow, but you know, whatever. Put back uh, maybe this Th this one. Oh, I guess that'd be smarter. I was just saying so we get then our deck. Yeah, true. Uh, but we but, do yeah, have two simple. five drops. Yeah. All right. We do have seventeen lands. But that's yeah. true. That's true. You know what? Yeah, I'm no, in no, no, just... I agree. Honestly, I agree. Then we can just do this very first turn, then our deck, shuffle that land back into our deck, you know? Or just go, yeah, just go get it. Let's go get a red. I feel like this is good. I'd rather thin our deck out. That doesn't even cost life or anything. It's perfect time to be playing something like that. Well, this is a cool looking land. I wouldn't want to live there, though. I look scary as fuck. 
Now that place, I'd live there. Just like your mama's face. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what? I don't even I know what it means. Your place like scary as fuck. And I was just like, just like your mama's face. Damn. I was, that's why I said, my just mom kidding. is a nice lady. I love your mom. I know. That's why I said, I'm just kidding. I was making a your mom's joke. <laughs> All right, this guy has prowess and haste. Let's kill it. I don't want to take more damage. Hold on. Let's just make sure it doesn't do anything else. Uh, disguise. This costs one less for each thing in your graveyard. When it's turned face up. Yeah, I just don't want to take damage. Let's just kill it. Especially because it has prowess. If we do it later, he might like cast a spell in response and we get blown out. And it did say something about red white being the aggro deck, so all right, let's play this land. Do we just want to do this, make our guy a suspect, and then you know, sure, we've got nothing else going on, I guess. Also, we can, uh, you know, turn our guy into a four three. Like if we attack and he blocks, turn into a four three, kill a creature. I would look to figure out some way to make a clue. So we can use this as like a straight up removal. That'd be nice. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, look, I found something to click. I don't know what that does. Let's look for more clues in this house. Look at that dagger. That looks, oh, look, a dagger. Oh, look, here's a rope. I feel like we're in the game. Clue. Where's my little side piece? Oh, your dude. Yeah, I thought we equipped him. Let's get him. We got to get that guy equipped. All right, shoot it for two and we'll turn it into a four power creature. Do it. Do it. Do it. This deals oh, twice like X damage. To target. Yeah. All right, well. Do not touch her bone. Well, it's, do doing, it. it's doing four damage, so we can't even save our guy. That's a good removal spell. Twice X is a lot of fucking damage. This fucking sucks. I want to draw a fucking, like... If we had any creature in play, we can do this and kill something, but... What's this My god. Do? I just have to be on patrol for Wanda's bonus. Ridiculous. Just let him have it. Fuck it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's her bone. Well, if she can't defend it, it's his bone. That's how it works. Survival of the fittest. Mm. Should we just play the three four and just hope he doesn't kill it? If he doesn't, we're gonna it's gonna win us the game. Okay. I mean, because we'll be able to cast two uh instants next turn. Ah. Uh, Fuck you. That's a common. That's crazy good common. Mm. Yeah, we're just gonna kill his creature. Damn. This... Four or five haste. Alright, let's kill that. Okay. All right. Things aren't looking too good. Uh, we only have one creature in the graveyard. And if we tr bring it back, we can't even cast it. So we just got to play this guy and hope. Uh, if we sacrifice our guy, we kill his guy. But I think we just need to hope our removal spell works. No idea what this face down guy is. Man, another fucking removal. We lose. Yeah, this is looks god awful. And another haste creature. Yeah, we just die. I mean, we can like live for the turn, but we can't win from there. So, damn. Red white aggro. But we also just like drew no creatures. So whatever. All right, let's play some more. Man, this format sucks. <laughs> Blizzard.
fix your game. Uh, well, this hand's good. If we can get a creature in play to do that, this hand's going to be incredible good. We have double removal spell. This hand seems great. Oh, I remember we actually saw this very land in the draft, and we didn't take it. But we didn't know we were going to be red at the time. We didn't start being red till pack three, right? Yeah. All right, let's sacrifice this. Go get a swamp. So let's play this researcher. Yeah, he's playing one too. It's a really good card. And then next turn, we're going to play this thing. Our guy becomes a 2-4. If we draw more cards, it's going to get even bigger. I think this card's just really good. Ugh. The one downside, I guess, is you have to cast the spells, your draw spells before, and crack your clues at like at the beginning of your first main phase, which is can be a downside, but also sometimes like is like doesn't matter. So green, green, red, blue, red. And this guy just gives him even more mana. I think this card's really good. Like being able to tap creatures and then also accelerate you is pretty good. All right, he did nothing. Mm. We have removal, 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 removal. Acceleration. I'm kind of wondering if we just want to sacrifice our guy to kill his guy. Or if we just want to keep up our removal spells. What do you think? I don't know. Hmm... I guess we have so many removal spells, and because we have these ones that, like... I really think this Slice from the Shadows is pretty good, because if he, like... Well, this guy's, like, every color. If he attacks with this guy, we block. If he turns it face up, we can just kill it, like, no matter what. If he plays, like, that, I guess that case thing, this would be sucky, but... Otherwise, like, nothing happened this turn. Uh... We should definitely kill something. I just don't know which. One or two. The first one he played or the second one he played? I don't know. Uh, let's go. Maybe the, maybe the third one. The one three guy? No, the uh, the third one that oh, he casted. Okay, just yeah. in case we want to like, attack or whatever. All right. Let's tap. Let's do this. To do this for most value in case this is an actual... 4-4 four, four, somehow that he could flip up. It can't be countered, so it doesn't matter if it has Ward 2. This includes by the Ward ability. I like how it even says it on the card. Now let's see what that was. 5-5 uh, five, fives, turn face up, destroy an artifact or an enchantment. Okay. Um. Hmm. Kind of like playing this guy. You can say go. Keep up another removal spell. We'll make him the suspect thing. And then next turn we could like start growing it bigger. This card's really good too. We just need to get seven fucking mana. Actually, maybe this guy's not that great. Oh, you can cast any number of instants or sorceries exiled uh, for free, though. This card's actually insane. Xylox. Visionary Investor. Inventor. And this guy's playing slow. Man, it's already 11.
Well, that's glimmery. Hey, baby, are you still here? Yeah. All right. I was wondering if my internet went, internet, if our internet went down because like nothing's happening right now. Like cast no. a spell and we're just waiting. It's weird. I'm trying. Oh, I don't get it. If I, I'm, I want to like start reading a little bit, but I can't have like the little box. I can only have it with um, Discord open. What's going on here? Did the game break? I'm wondering what's going on. I'm going to task manager close this. Is this still responding? It says it's working. But clearly it's not working. Something happened. I'm going to do it. We'll just reopen it. Uh, I hope this game doesn't get count as a loss. If it is, we're going to ask for a refund. Like, what the fuck is going on here? Wow. We missed our turn entirely. One... Two, three, four, five, six. Well, that's fucking great. Okay, let's try casting this guy again. Okay, uh, we just missed a turn entirely. I don't know what happened, so. But such is life, I guess. Play this. You know, draw an extra card. What the fuck? Okay, there. If we froze again, I would have been pissed. Okay, go to our combat, put a counter on this guy. No attacks. Let's turn this guy face up. He deals combat damage to a player. Investigate. Okay. We'll take the hit one time and then we can uh like either kill it with this guy or murder his guy. Okay. Uh, guys, it costs two less. It deals damage equal to its power, so it's a punch spell. Okay. I'm starting to get tired. Yeah, me too, a little bit. But my appointment—I gotta see what time my appointment's at. Ugh. Another good dude. Cracking your clue. Okay, um, maybe we just play our four four. Oh, we're probably supposed to just... Is this? Artifact or creature. So we could kill this by sacrificing our bad guy. Let's... Okay, hold on. Let's... But this guy's not even that bad. I mean, we only have a little bit of stuff. Uh, man... I think we want to do this regardless of what we play. It's going to be one of these two guys. Probably this guy to kill off his guy. All right. Play this. Sacrifice this guy, killing your 5-5. Five five. Uh, pass the turn. Man. Uh, do we want to block? We have no idea what this is. He's got a million mana. We only have minus one, minus one. Just take it. Ugh. Morphs are so crazy. Yeah, I know. It's like, 
what is this? And we don't know anything about the format, so it's like crazy. So we can pl play this and then tap his guy down for a turn. We have one, or we could just play out our giant guy. Maybe just play out our giant dude. If we play this, we have, we'd still give minus three, minus three, or cast murder. All right, maybe that's good. Play it, block something. Yeah, we'll investigate. Let's get rid of all of it. At six. Um, guess we gotta pay the ward too. But that's fine. Hmm. <sighs> All right, gains flying hexproof until is it hexproof forever or just until end of turn? Till end of turn, okay. Cosmo's like laying like two like his face an inch away from Wanda for when she's like <laughs> done like taking a break, chewing on her bone. He'll go take it. Yeah, he's so ridiculous. I think we should double block this guy because he was attacked last time and do our 3 3. Probably can't be a full 5 5 or something bigger than that. The 3 3. Gains indestructible oh. until end of turn. Okay. Well, he's trying to kill. Uh, it also has death touch. Oh my god. What a blowout. That was a bad play. Dude, this card. That's a common. Jesus Christ. Well, that was a bad play. How am I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> no, we don't. Didn't know it was going to be a bad play. We can murder it and kill this other guy. Well, he's, you know, tapped out and stuff. And then give it minus three, minus three. Play this land, thin our deck. Like, I literally thought, I was like, last turn you tacked into our guys, so if we block with five power, probably can't be, you know? Ugh. What yeah, did, that was... What was it, anyway? Oh, the other guy was a 6-7. Okay, so we were fucked no matter which one we blocked. Crazy. Alright, tack for one. All right, let's play our guy. Pass the turn. We're on a very thin ice currently. Man, he's just attacking. He's got so many big guys. We just, ugh, whatever. Just flip it and kill us. Okay, it was the that same guy. I don't know why he did it that turn, though. That doesn't do anything. I'm happy about that. I guess if he untaps his land... Oh, he's just cracking his clue. Okay, yeah, that was not bad. All right. Let's draw like a big creature. Okay, that's... Cosmo, you are ridiculous. <laughs> Get your face away from her bone. I can't believe that I'm a bone, I'm bone police right, right now. Bone police. Bone Protecting guard. Bone guard. Protecting Wanda from the kleptomaniac. I'm like clicking around looking for the clues and stuff. And I saw this one. I was like, oh, that looks interesting. I clicked it. I was like, oh, that's our <laughs> exile. 
It's funny. Oh my god. Kill our guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Kills our removal. Alright, yeah. Woo! Come on, let's win more than one game. Yeah, come on, man. Come on. Don't Go. lose oh wait, we can't lose my platinum rating. Yeah, we can't we can't lose it, honestly. It's once you've got it, you can't go any lower, but Let's see. Is there anything in here that's like it's a random counter spell? More two drops. What's this dragon do again? And it's a battlefield investigate whenever you sacrifice could put a 1 1 counter on this guy. I mean, this guy might be pretty good because we have that one guy that we've wanted things to sacrifice for. And I, I just wish we had more. Uh, this guy hasn't been good a single time. That doesn't mean it's not going to be, but pointing it out that it hasn't been good yet. Uh, this guard was garbage. This guy is, could be good. I don't know how many. How many cards do we have that care about exiling stuff from our graveyard? Or one, two. Uh, this brings guys back from the game for three. O only three? Alright, let's cut that guy and put in that other guy. What's this thing do? Destroys an artifact. Sacrifice an artifact. Put two 1-1 one -one counters on this guy. Meh. Uh, yeah, let's try that little, little change. Alright. I mean, we have that two mana, we have two of them, the same rare, two mana, two, three. When it starts attacking, it can start doing stuff. It's like, seems so good. Let's get it. All right, well, this can go get a red, and we can play this guy on turn two, crack the clue, gets bigger, play this, crack, clack, clue, this guy gets bigger. All right, this little dragon might be uh, really, really good this game, we'll see. Oh, we keep I keep forgetting to bring in our little mole man. Aw. I want the mole man. Okay, right, play this, sack it. Go get a mountain. Okay, play the blue, cast this guy. All right. Defender, play a swamp, crack this clue, attack for two. This guy doesn't have reach or nothing, right? No. Well, there's our guy that I want, so hopefully that'll be good. All right. So he gets to draw a second card. Draw and discard. It's like, do I want to play this and crack it, draw more cards, make our guy a 3-3 and attack, start racing? I feel like that's a way to lose, though, because like he's already attacking for three here and then would attack for potentially six next turn. But if you killed this guy, it probably wouldn't be attacking for six. We could also just like play two two drops. Make him exile a card and play this. That might be better. Yeah, that's safer and higher upside, too. Would we hit a spell? Nice. Play out this guy. Let's attack for two. Still think that guy's our win con, so let's go with him for a while. When it attacks, exile target card from a graveyard. Alright. Yeah, he's this this guy's the detective deck. Okay. Yeah. If he attacks with this guy, we should definitely block it. Because 
this guy's the guy that's enabling these other two guys to even attack in the first place. Okay. Play this, crack it. Uh, yeah, let's play this. Get another clue, crack that clue. Our guy becomes a 3-3. Three, three. Draw another card. Play a land. Oh, we already played our land. Okay. Attack. Oh, I didn't need to attack with that 1-1. One, one. Collect too fast. Um. That was bad. Oh, how? We're not even fucking... Well, I guess he needs to draw a card, so... Yeah, if he can't draw a second card this turn he can't do much oh he of course he can uh all right all right um at least we have double you removal spell probably. next turn we can kill both of his guys next turn so that's pretty good kill both of his guys attack for six or attack for three i mean two kill a guy waiting for server what the fuck's happening? Can you hear me? Are you there? Okay, we're back. Yeah, I'm here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's like losing connection and stuff again. I kind of wanted to get a refund for this draft. Like that one game we lost, like we literally got skipped an entire turn. It wasn't our internet. It was like we play this card and got bop, you know, whatever, fucked up. Okay, play this, crack it, let's go get... We have a lot of black... Like double black and stuff in our deck. Let's attack for three. Play this guy as a two two or two one because if he does draw a card, we have to block. So and we have like you know being able to return guys from the graveyard, another removal spell, a three three flyer in play. He's missing his land drops. Did he discard a land with this? No, he discarded some spell, so he really doesn't have a lot. All right, here's the battlefield. Collect evidence four. If you do collect evidence, you make a one one. Okay. All right. Oh man, I'm trying to stay up, baby. I know, baby. If you need to get some sleep, I know you do. Well, I'll, so. well, I'll be waiting for you. But I like just was dozing off for a second. Turn both of our guys. Well, I'll be, I'll be like you know how I am. I fall asleep, wake up. Yeah. Play this guy, make him exile a card from his hand. Or maybe we play at the three cool. mana guy. Cool. Our hand is really good right now. Probably just. Uh... More of that throat spray. Man, you're going through a lot of it. My throat hurts so bad. Let's make him exile. Exile another card from his hand. We know we're hitting spells right now because he's been missing land drops. So, and let's gauge out what he's got in his hand based on what he, we're making him discard. Okay, let's see. Oh, Judith! Wow, that's really crazy because that card's amazing. It's one of the best cards in our deck. All right, let's attack for three. Okay. Wonder. Mill three cards, investigate. Mill a couple lands. It's going to crack that draw card. Makes that guy be able to attack. But that guy attacking is not too bad. Okay. Just get in front of that guy, save some life. If I don't want to die to a shock or something. In a few turns, so. 
Okay, Judith. Okay, we can play Judith. Minus one, minus one. Kill his guy. Make a two, two. When it dies, shoot our opponents for two. Attack for three. Yeah, that was a good draw. Yeah, this imp is great. This imp would be good even if it couldn't, uh, like, oh, that guy's an artifact. Fuck. All right. Mm. Oh, factor fiction. <laughs> that seems pretty good. For us? Yeah, let's play this guy and say go. There's a two. The only counter spell I remember seeing was a two mana counter spell, and he had two mana up, so no reason to play it into that right away. And this is whenever you cast it. So even if we cast it, yeah, this game seems over. Where Wanda? Mm -mm. Yeah, I think this with the same colors, I think our deck's is better than this guy's. He might went in on that uh one theme, but I think ours is better. We just have stronger cards. This mythic rare is incredible. Probably won't well, see any. Jungle? Yeah, it's like reveal cart, the top five. Opponent puts them into some piles and we make a giant flyer. Like, this is game over. Uh. Uh. Yeah, we'll do it like that. We get a 1 1 flyer. Oh, we get a 3-3 three, three flyer, because three cards went to the graveyard. Yeah, it's insane. Play this, draw an extra card. Put the counter on this guy. Play out another creature. Attack with everybody. Exile. This thing comes a three four four flyer. All right, no, that's not what this guy does. Sacrifice a clue. This guy, yeah, does become a four four flyer. Our guys die. We shoot him for four. He's super duper dead. Yeah, yay. Yay. Oof. All right. I'd like to win at least a couple more. I think this deck's really strong. Oh, hey, before I forget, profile, uh, companions, set as default. I don't know why it doesn't show up, though. I don't know. We'll try it. I said it as default. Uh. Hey, baby, what do you think about this format so far after our it's first draft? Cool. I like it. Huh? I like it. You're liking it so far? Cool. That Mythic is very good. The Factor Fiction one. Yeah. Because it's the same price. But you get a. Whatever, how many cards are discard? That's how the fire becomes. Yeah, that's really insane card. So this is the new Thraven Inspector. It's the same exact thing. It says he's a detective. Makes sense. They needed to have more detectives. Just one mana, one two crack. I mean, that seems good. Uh, 
Too bad we didn't draw a mountain there. That would have been awesome. All right, two, two. Uh, let's play out our one, three to hopefully prevent some damage and uh, maybe accelerate. We're definitely going to block regardless if he has pump. Even if he showed it to me, I'd still block here. Uh, oh my God, I've become a bone inspector. It's annoying. Like, bone protector. Cosmo mm -hmm. is cool. Play another dude. Draw a discard. Uh, discard a swamp. Dude, white red seems really fucking good. Yeah, we're just gonna lose here. We gotta draw a creature or something here. It's not gonna do nothing. Uh, man, this sucks. Yeah, we're just gonna lose hard. Draw another card. <sighs> He's just going to play a haste creature and we're going to concede. Yeah, I think our next draft, we should draft something really aggressive. See, mm -hmm. uh, and like, see if these decks, like, our deck is like super controlly. Wow, if we, it, wow, this is so funny. We play this, sacrifice our clue to kill some, like kill his guy, and we take two from this. We're literally just dead. Um. Man. Yeah. Kill off this thing. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I guess we're not. No, we are dead because we can't do the uh turn his guy into a one one because we only have we have five of the six evidence needed. Yeah, next draft, let's draft a oh we're even at one. And I see has another removal. Yeah. Next draft we're gonna draft a hyper aggressive deck and see if these control decks can keep up because what I was looking at was like three or four of these decks, you know, uh three or four of these things are like overwhelm your opponent with card advantage. Just like how about you just overwhelm your opponent with attackers and kill them? I don't know. I like the I like this format. We'll be definitely going to do a lot more. I hope you guys learned something from this. Um, yeah, kick ass take names obtain anything for the people, baby. Uh, peace in the Middle East. Peace in the Middle East. They need it. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Wait one more second. There you go. One, two, three, four, five.